Welcome to the first episode of IQ, where we will break down the intricate details to help improve your Fight Night Champion gameplay. Today's episode will be pertaining on how to stop power punch spammers in Fight Night. Have you ever had an opponent that threw non-stop power punches without losing any steam? See, according to my opponent's record, it is clear that he's having more success than he should using this tactic, which tells us that there's a problem that needs to be addressed. And we're going to break down on what you need to do in order to beat this strategy and improve your chances of winning in Fight Night Champion. The three main points of emphasis that I'm going to cover is number one, defensive responsibility. Number two, calculated punching. And number three, connect rate. To give you an idea of the style that we're dealing with, let's first take a look at the punch stats. As you can see, my opponent threw 311 punches and only landed 91. But what we really need to pay attention to is the power category. He threw 311 power punches and landed 91 of them. Which means that every single punch that he threw in this entire fight was a power punch. Meaning he threw 100% power shots the entire fight. The first thing that I would say is to allow yourself to feel disrespected at the fact that someone believes that they can beat you by primarily only throwing the straight with 100% power shots and not even bothering to use the jab, which is a complete disrespect of the sweet science itself. And I think that's perfectly okay to feel that way and that someone would actually try this strategy on you. But as I stated earlier, it's clear by his winning record that this is working way more than it should and is a clear problem in Fight Night Champion Online that needs to be addressed. So we're going to do this by first going down the different ways we're going to dismantle the opponent. So the first example that you see here, we're going to talk about defensive responsibility. And what we want to do, the objective is, is to make sure that we find creative ways to bait out the opponent's punches and also make sure that we are out of dodge at all times or as most frequently as we can be. Because, see, we know what type of punches that our opponent is going to throw. We know that he's spamming, right? So it makes it that much more easier for us to know when, where, and how to get out of dodge. Okay, so you'll see here he whiffs one punch, but then I block the second punch, and then I block a third punch. And then right here, you'll see that I'm throwing the right hand out. But the intention of me throwing that right hand out is I don't care if I land the punch or not. That's not my intention. My intention is to at least tap his glove so that way I can get him to throw more spam out there. So that way we can drain his stamina and also discourage him throughout the process of this fight. So we need to pay close attention to what he does after that punch misses, because while this is very, very subtle, this technique can take you over the top on learning how to remain defensively responsible while forcing your opponent to throw shots and miss. As you can see, when he misses the straight right hand, he takes a step forward as if he's getting ready to load up for another shot. And then you'll see here, from what I do is I'm coming in with the block with my guard up and then I let go of the block button, which makes me remain open for a split second. So essentially what we're doing is we're faking our vulnerability to the opponent, thus forcing him to throw another combination of a body uppercut and a straight right hand. But when he's throwing that punch, we back all the way away which gives you a ton of space between yourself and the opponent. And most importantly, it gives your opponent absolutely nothing to work with, which is one of the core reasons why defensive responsibility is such an important concept, not just in Fight Night Champion, but in the sweet science as well. 
Because what this does and the additional benefit to this is, is while you're also protecting yourself at all times, you're also discouraging the opponent and taking away his confidence of his ability to be able to land a punch. So now we're going to focus on the art of calculated punching. Since we're dealing with someone who's solely relying on power shots to win the fight, we must be very strategic on when to implement a plan of attack. What this means is exercising patience and trusting that the spammers telegraph and predictable punches will make it easy for you to score shots with the greatest of these. The key component to making this work is to never get greedy with your shots. Take what the opponent gives you and then you can amp the pressure later on after the opponent has been broken down and then you can land any kind of shots you choose. Okay, let's take a look at this clip right here. Watch as I dash right in his face. And then he immediately throws the power uppercut and his power straight spam. Now right here, he barely connects the right hand. And then I jump right back in his face to close the distance to encourage him to throw that same two punch combo again. And he falls for the bait, hook, line, and sinker. And then as you see on the second punch, I pull back in order to dodge his straight right hand. And then from here, I start my attack by lunging in with a body jab and then bang, 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 bang. We land a successful four punch combo and then back off, not allowing ourselves to get greedy with more shots than we need in order to properly maintain our good stamina. Then I want you to notice after that, he unwisely throws another power straight right hand, which gives me the go ahead to go and look for a quick uppercut and left hook combo where I miss the first uppercut, but the left hook lands in succession. See, this is a good time to try and land a few more punches if you can, because when we know we're punching, we have more energy behind our attack than he does because he is continuously spamming and missing, meaning that every time you punch, you will have a superior stamina advantage than your opponent. From here, what I'm looking for is to see how reckless the spammer is going to be with his stamina. And he answers this question by going for another power straight, which he lands. But then after that, he goes for another body uppercut straight right hand combo which he misses completely and then likely out of frustration he goes in for another power straight to the body and then i counter him with a side step uppercut for good measure and then i get out of there knowing that my opponent is quickly costing himself valuable stamina that he'll need for later in the fight in summary calculated punching is knowing when to pick your shots this can make the difference between a win or a loss in Fight Night Champion, especially when dealing with a spammer who has no regard for his own stamina. By remaining patient and being economical with your punches, you can easily destroy these types of spammers by taking them to the later rounds and then you'll be able to destroy them when they have absolutely no gas left and their punches lack any power behind them. To do this effectively, this is going to segue directly into the third point of contention. Connect rate. I believe that connect rate is the most important component in destroying a spammer in fight night. When you combine this with the other two points of contention that I explained earlier, you have a complete formula for annihilating any spammer that you run across. Simply putting it, your goal is to get your opponent to miss as many punches as possible by any means necessary. The reason being is so that you allow the spammer to drain his stamina while maintaining yours at a high level. Sometimes you'll do this by dodging punches, 
Sometimes you'll do it by blocking punches and other times you'll do it by baiting out the spam and getting out of the way accordingly. Because we understand that the opponent is a spammer, it makes it very easy to know what type of punch is coming, when it's coming, and when to avoid it, and when to attack. Let's look at the fight totals. The goal is, is to have your spammer land somewhere between 30% or less. This gives us a good guarantee that we can knock the spammer out in the late rounds as long as we remain patient with our punches and remain defensively responsible. Round 5 will be the ideal type of round that you'll want to have against a spammer, where I landed 63% of my punches whilst limiting my opponent to an abysmal 18%. And as you can see, 43 of his 59 punches were straight right hands. Having a spammer miss this many punches puts you at a strong advantage mentally because while he's only landing 18%, it's easy to discourage the spammer since they have no interest in making any adjustments or switching their variation of punches. Let's take a look at one of my favorite techniques to decrease a spammer's connect rate, the jab bait. The jab is the most important tool that you can have in your arsenal. It can be used in many different ways and in many different scenarios. In this clip, I'm using the jab to simply tap the opponent's block to get a feel for his rhythm and see if we can get him to let his hands go. While it's not a major concern if the jab connects, it definitely is an added bonus if the punch does land. Now let's take a look. Watch as I stick the first jab out there, and it successfully lands. I'm paying attention to my opponent's movement afterwards. From here, he moves to the side while keeping his guard up. So again, I throw another jab, and it taps his glove. So basically, we're essentially going tap, tap, throwing the jab out there twice while maintaining a safe distance to deal with any surprising attacks that he might let out. Again, being defensively responsible. After this is where we successfully utilize the jab to bait out a punch from the spammer. Watch as I dash in as if I'm going to throw a big shot and instead I just simply throw out another jab and then retreat right away. What this does is, is this forces the opponent to think that he has an opportunity for a counter shot as you can see, he leans back to set up his uppercut straight right hand spam and misses it completely. This is because the spammer did exactly what I wanted him to do, which is to throw some more punches off of the reaction of my dash in jab. My goal was not to fish for a counter shot, although you will have opportunities to do that. The goal is, is to simply force your opponent to miss as many punches as he can so that way we can decrease his stamina. Which in this clip, we did this successfully. So again, using the jab as a bait and switch technique to get your opponent to throw more punches and miss is a very, very, very important step on how to defeat a spammer because again, we're draining that stamina and we're also draining his confidence as well. In summary, the tools you will need in order to destroy power punch spammers in Fight Night Champion is to focus on remaining defensively responsible at all times, picking and choosing your moments to attack with calculated punching, and ensure that your opponent whiffs as many power shots as possible and drain his stamina by him having a low connect rate. If you follow these three basic rules, you can build off of this formula to have a great degree of success in your Fight Night Champion online experience. I will conclude this video by showing a few rounds of this fight where you can see live examples of everything that we just covered. If you have any questions or would like for me to cover different topics, please let me know in the comments. I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative, and thank you all for tuning in to the first episode of IQ. Have a good day, everyone.
Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round. What has been a very even fight. Lewis is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Good right hand. Is working well. A clean, crisp right hand by Lewis. Good shot there with that left. Big uppercut right on the mark. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Able to dismiss that body shot. Gets him in the mug with the right. He missed with that head shot. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Lewis has still got a great nice chance round. to that win this fight, regardless of what you just saw in that last round. I mean, conventional wisdom down here is that it's a close competitive fight that he's trailing on the scorecard. But you can tell this fight can turn at any moment. Yeah, it's very close. I think right now, you got to be the guy. It's kind of like an argument. You get into an argument with someone, you want to have the last word. Whoever throws the last punches, you know, one guy throws three, you come back with four. Whoever's the last one to throw, he's going to win. Nice. Reich after catching one by Lewis. Lewis is showing you a little defensive skill there. Had to move away from that punch. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing. And that is superb defense. And it's on target tonight. It is. The old timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. Huge right hand comes fresh. Lewis is rising back up. That takes some guts. Halfway through round six. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his two races right there. Oh, man. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Breathe deep 
breath. Give me some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen. You threw a wide punch out there and he caught you. I know if you punch. times tonight, including that last round. You never know what a person's table falls when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. <laughs> it would be spectacular. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Move your head. Lewis is not coming up with the results that you would want to see out of him. Now, he's trying to counter punch Teddy, but it doesn't seem to be the answer. No, he kind of looks a little bit like that guy who so went to get his head tied, you know? And he thought, he thought it was going to be just a little bit lighter. And it wound up being a lot lighter. And he said, wow, what the heck did I do? I didn't think I was going to look like this. I didn't think that I was going to box like this. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Yeah, big shot there. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Count. 